pressure dominating. Uh, we did have a few clouds today. At times it looked a little dark. You squeeze out a few sprinkles at best. Tomorrow, even more sunshine and no chance of rain in the forecast as the high will be right over us. Already 50 in Rhinelander. They're going to get into the lower 40s tonight. Yeah, I know. It's July. Back off to the west, though. Warmer temps, 70 in the Twin Cities. That's more like it. This is going to try to work its way toward us, uh, especially for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. May hit 80 one of the days this weekend. But more importantly, if you're a true summer lover, we're going to get rid of the dry air and bring in the sticky humidity uh, by Friday night and throughout the weekend. That does create, though, some scattered showers and some thunderstorms around the region. Dew points right now, though, are in the 40s and 50s. By the weekend, they'll be in the upper 60s to around 70. That's humid, and that's typical for this time of the year. Uh, this is not. The average is 80. Today, we were 75. As I mentioned earlier, right around the noon hour, then we dropped into the 60s for the rest of the day with that southeast wind. Inland areas remained in the 70s. A year ago today, we were 84. A touch of September out there and the weekend humidity, the pick day tomorrow. Friday, not bad either for most of the day. By later in the afternoon, though, into the evening, chance of scattered thunderstorms. The wind is calm. Uh, the dew points are in the 50s. 63 is the temperature. You might see a little bit of patchy fog overnight, but it'll quickly burn off in the morning. That sun, very in strong. Uh, and with the clear sky, it won't last very long. But look at this. Already in the 50s in some spots. 57 Fond du Lac and Waukesha. 56 in Burlington. 61 in Whitewater. One of the warmer spots, Janesville at 64. For tomorrow, more humid and scattered storms back into the plain states. For us, a lot of sunshine and a light southeasterly wind, so a little bit cooler at the lake. And if you're a fan of this comfortable weather, the cool weather pattern continues into next week with highs in the 70s and low humidity. If you're a true summer lover, you have to wait at least 10 days to get the 80s and the high dew point. Uh, tonight's lows, uh, we're going to be back into the 50s. A rapid warm up. Temperatures though, right at the lake front with that easterly wind will be stuck into the upper 60s. We'll hit 73 in Milwaukee before that wind shifts to the east southeast. Inland areas will be in the mid to upper 70s. So tomorrow, high pressure, sunshine, most of uh, Friday as well. And then here comes the storm system to the southwest. We'll see those showers develop later in the day on Friday. Tonight, great sleeping weather once again. 55 degrees. The lack of the hum of air conditioners noticeable around the city. 73 degrees tomorrow, mostly sunny. Just a comfortable day. Light winds and low humidity. Now the humidity does start to move back in here for Friday. You'll feel it for the weekend. Temperatures close to 80 with scattered thunderstorms. I think the best chance for rain uh, will be during the day on Saturday. And then look at next week. Highs in the lower 70s, mm. lows in the 50s. That is more like September. Relatively cool for July, for sure. Very much so. It'll be 100 right. in September, maybe. <laughs> maybe. Oh, bite <laughs> yeah, your yeah, tongue. Yeah, okay,